Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Khalid Mahmood. In this video, we are going to draw this beautiful, stately, advanced AutoCAD practice exercise 46, step by step. It's super fun and beginner friendly. So even you are just starting out, stay with me till the end. Just look at this design, clean cuffs, radius, circles, symmetric structure, it's mine seem complex but I will guide you through every step so don't worry by the end of this video you will be able to draw it confidently so let's get started you can download this diagram for your practice purposes link in the description box so download further for your practice now step 1 Draw the main horizontal line at the bottom from here to here 70. So need to activate line command using L enter click on first point and put a value as a 70 press enter. Now draw a vertical line upward from the center line total height is 90. So using again L for line, click on this center point and put a value as a 90. Press enter. Now step 2. Create this upper body. So need to understand first, we are going to create a rectangle. This one distance 50 upon 20. So just create a rectangle. Using REC rectangle command, click on first point, put a value as a D for diameter 50, enter 20, enter. Click on specific point. Now select this rectangle using M for move command. Click on this geometric center point and put it here. Now need to create this arc shape. It's a fillet. So fillet radius will be 5. So use fillet command using F for fillet press enter. R for radius and radius value will be 5 press enter. Now this one is a polyline. So use P for polyline and click on this rectangle. Now next create this inner part. So if you see very carefully this circle radius will be 5. So now need to create a circle as a radius 5. So use C for circle command. Click on this end point and put a value as a radius 5. Press enter. Now create one more line. Line will be 40. So use L for line command. Click on this point. Press a value as a 40. Now select this line. Click on this midpoint to this center point. Select this circle. Use M for move. Click on this end point of circle to click it here. Use mirror command. M I for mirror. Select this circle. Press enter. Click on this center point. Click on upside. Choose as a no. Now need to close this line using line command. L for line from here to here as same as from here to here. Erase this reference line and trim unwanted part of this drawing. Okay. So now this part almost complete. Now need to create the second part. This one. Down part. Now step 3. Create this bigger circle radius will be 25 so use c for circle command click on this point and put a value as a radius 25 press enter now need to create this line so just using l for line command click on this point and upside it will be 25 press enter now need to trim this unwanted part so using tr double enter trim this one and also this one and this one okay 
now just shift this one is here okay now need to step 4 let's add two holes use the circle command and both have a diameter of the circle as a 10 diameter so you can use mirror command otherwise copy command so now need to create circle using c enter click on this point and put our value d for diameter 10 enter select this circle use move command m for move click any specific point upward it will be 25 now again m for move l for last object enter and left side it will be 25 press enter now select both this one m i for mirror click on this point to this point choose as a no our second part almost complete we need to create these parts this elliptical arc and this one and also the inner part of this cutout so first we need to create this one step 5 let's add arc left and right side so you can use arc command otherwise you can use circle command but i prefer i will going to use arc command so first we see from here this line to this point distance will be 10 so i am using xl for construction line v for vertical place it here now o for offset and put a value offset as a 10 and click this line now i i am going to remove this one and need to create this arc so you can use start in the radius command so go to arc command and choose as a start end radius this one start point this one and end point this one and radius will be 110 press enter now select this line using e for erase now next we need to create this inner arc so step 6 add inner cutout so use o for offset command and put a value 5.5 press enter select this line right side and this line will be left side now again using x l for construction line h for horizontal click it here using o for offset command put a value 15 put it down as same as from here to here from here to here its distance 35 so use o for offset command and put a value as a 35 press enter now we need to make one more offset from the center to right and left it will be 40.5 so use o for offset command 14.5 press enter from this center line from here to here now need to trim unwanted part using f for fillet r for radius zero enter select this line to this line again select this line to this line now as same as here f for fillet for this line to this line as same as for this line to this line now delete this one now we are going to create this curve so you can use same as a or command start in radius so start from here end from here and put a value as a radius 110 press enter now delete this line also this line and also this line you can choose also this one select this arc and also this arc use mirror command mi for mirror click on this center point to this point choose as a no 
select this line using e4 erase tr double enter trim select this one choose m for move and upside it will be 10 press enter okay now it's fine select all your drawing except dimension go to properties and add a line thickness as of 0 0.30 now need to add dimension I already explained how can you add dimension so after you add dimension your drawing looks like that so I hope you can understand everything very properly make sure the arc radius and the holes match on original drawing exactly your practice exercise 46 is ready if this video helpful you please like and subscribe my channel to awesome AutoCAD tutorial and if would you like to support my work and get access to exclusive content hit the join button and become a part of our growing community the image of this exercise link below don't forget to download it and try it from yourself so see you in the next video tata bye bye take care